Anytime you bring up adverse reactions with the COVID vaccine, people have a question. They say, why are you so against the vaccine? Because the people that are getting adverse reactions would get even worse reactions with COVID. In other words, those teenagers that are getting the jab uh, and then they get a heart attack or they have heart damage. People say, well, just imagine what would have happened if they got COVID. And why are you so against the jab if, you know, the vaccine basically makes your symptoms less? Well, first of all, I'm not against the jab. I'm just against forcing people to get the jab, number one. And I'm also skeptical because it's a very new technology. We don't have the full data. We'll probably never get the full data set. But irrespective of all that, the most important thing is the jab you would assume is just mRNA for the spike protein. It's an mRNA vaccine, you get that, you get the spike protein, whereas COVID, you got the spike protein, but you also have all these other proteins, you have all these other things. So first of all, natural immunity is stronger than COVID vaccine immunity. That's the first thing. Don't believe the propaganda when people try and tell you otherwise. Natural immunity, much better. Why? Because you're getting immune antibodies to all kinds of different proteins instead of just the spike protein. But the reason it's concerning, and it's not a head-to-head -head comparison, and you say, well, this person got a heart attack with the vaccine, just imagine what would happen if they would have gotten COVID. Well, when you get the vaccine, you're getting millions of mRNA particles. Now, of course, we don't have the data, and they'll probably never release that data. It probably is going to take third-party independent testing to figure out, well, how much mRNA are we actually putting into people? How much spike protein are we getting out? All that kind of thing. But it's millions. It's millions of mRNA particles. There's almost no question about it. Maybe billions. Now, when you get the actual COVID virus, there's usually a few thousand, right? A few thousand viral particles, a few thousand uh, spike proteins. It's definitely much, much less, probably on the factor of 10, maybe on the factor of 100 less spike protein. And by the way, spike protein is very toxic. So spike protein causes blood clotting. It causes a lot of these, these issues that see people, women are seeing with their period, for example, just blood clotting issues, stickiness in your blood. So when you're, the problem again with comparing the vaccine with actual COVID is the vaccine is overdosing the spike protein. You're hitting it really hard. So it's not really a head to head comparison. So when people say, you got a heart attack when you had the vaccine. Just imagine what would have happened if you had COVID. It's not a very fair comparison, especially for somebody who's healthy, who's having an adverse reaction, which seems to be happening frequently. It's underreported, but it's still plenty frequent. So that's really what it comes down to. It's just a matter of scale. We're putting in loads of these toxic spike proteins via the vaccine versus actual COVID, which has a lot less. <laughs>